it's been a minute, but I am back and we are talking about the newest season of Selling the OC. Guys, Oh, this show triggers me beyond belief. Probably maybe even more than Selling Sunset. I don't know. I feel like some of the characters in Selling OC are just <laughs> But I still enjoyed it. We were blessed with almost a new conflict every episode of this season. And in this video, we're going to discuss all the conflicts and we're going to rank them as we always do. Let's get into it. To start off, we have a big conflict between Tyler and Sean. Sorry, I didn't mean to stress out on Sean. I meant to stress Tyler. Ugh. Sean's like, should we imitate people in the office? He's like, oh, my dad gave me this listing or something like that. And he was imitating Tyler and Tyler gets offended. <laughs> and he calls out Sean for not selling any listings at the Oppenheim group, which to be fair, it's kind of crazy because I guess he's been there for a couple years. But mm, here's the thing, okay? Sean hasn't been in any drama till now. Like you barely even see Sean the past few seasons. He's in like almost every conflict this season, which is crazy. But I just don't think he's a drama kind of guy. Mr. Tyler, on the other hand, we all know what's going on with him and his relationships and the whole shebang. So I really already have a bad taste in my mouth with Tyler. Let's be honest, he probably is getting listings from his dad or like the support of the name whatever understand that you're a nepo baby <laughs> i feel like you really see tyler's true colors this season this guy potentially has feelings for alex hall which is a red flag in and of itself sean i feel like has been an unproblematic king until now okay so i am absolutely taking Sean's side in this one. I genuinely think he was joking when he said the comment. I mean, it's an imitation game. <laughs> That's the point of the game. You're just like supposed to say things that are like very unique to the person. Ew, Tyler's so sensitive ass. Sorry. Of all the conflicts this season, this one does rank on the lower side just because I know what's to come. So for now, I'm going to put this at six. The next one is between Gio, Kayla, and this $28 million listing. It took me a little bit to kind of understand why Gio was so pissed and just kind of like even understanding what he was saying, like the story of it all. But basically, the management called up Gio and was like, yo, it seems like you know the listing agent that was on this house. Give us like the stats and info and how you would like kind of acquire this if you could and basically i guess geo like spent so much time and energy and gave all his like mind babies and geniusness to management and with that he felt entitled to this listing if the oppenheim group got it the oppenheim group gets the listing but they give it to kayla geo's pissed off geo thinks kayla was in on it yada 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 Ew, this was so irritating. You know what I loved about this though? When he tried to go complain to people, I loved that people were like putting him in his place, specifically Jarvis, because she's a queen. I can't hate Jarvis, okay? I'm just so glad that people were like, go deal with Jason, like talk to Jason about this. I don't know why you're going around complaining to people and like friggin' going off on Kayla when like this is a you and management conversation. And I'm so glad Kayla ends up finding out from Mary that like the guy that was selling the house didn't even want um, Gio on the listing, so ha in your face. I was so glad when she went and told you that like, ugh. He's like, that's news to me. Yeah, I'm a loser. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This one did really trigger me more than the Tyler and Sean conflict from earlier, just because it was just like really irritating to see Gio feel like so deserving of this for what? I don't understand. Let's put it up four. Let's move on. So next one is with Sean and Austin, okay? This rumor starts going around that Austin and his wife invited Sean over and they like baked him some brownies and they flirted with him and were like insinuating some things and Sean got uncomfortable and left. Here's the thing. It's just such a specific room. It's such a specific rumor. What does Sean get from sharing this? Like genuinely, like I don't understand. And my opinion on this slightly changes by the end. But at this point, I'm like, what Austin confronting Sean when he, when he comes into the office and him almost like fighting him? What was insane. I can't imagine behaving like that in the workplace. Like actually, and like their managers are never around. Like Jason and Brett are literally never around. They'll come in and be like, yo, let's have a meeting. And they'll talk for like five minutes and then they'll yeet literally like immediately. Or Jason will come and be like, yo, let's play some pool. And then they'll just leave. Like they're adults, I get it. But like, where's HR? <laughs> I do have to say, if Sean is making this up, imagine saying something about your family. Like I get it, I get it, but obviously we know where the lines are in the office and Austin and 
Alex Hall and Polly and Tyler and Gio now are on one side and the rest are on the other side. And I almost always am taking the other side, okay? And so in this situation, I'm taking Sean's side. I'm gonna put it below Kayla and Gio. I understand the Kayla and Gio conflict may not seem as big as this one, but that one for me as a woman really triggered me. So for now, Austin and Sean go at five. The next one, oh my God. Welcome Miss Alex Hall. This is between Alex Hall and Tyler. Tyler's going to Nashville. He invites Alex. She's like, okay, I'll come. Um, and then he doesn't like really communicate about it much. And then like right before the trip, she's like, yo, are we going? Am I coming with you? He's like, yeah, you can come if you want. <laughs> Fucking no. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm taking Alex's side in this argument. I, I have to take her side because it's basically being like, don't come, I don't care if you come. What's crazy though is that she ends up right not going to Nashville then. And Tyler's like, oh, she didn't go to Nashville. She dished me and she went to Vegas with some guy. And she ends up like dating this guy. What? I thought you were like trying to see where it goes. I don't know where things go with Tyler. Like it's just like really crazy how she kind of had that on the back burner. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move Kayla and Gio up to three. Austin and Sean up to four four and then I'm gonna put no I'm gonna put Austin and Sean at five mm, yeah and then I'm gonna put Alex and Tyler at four I don't know guys this whole Alex and Tyler thing it's irritating when it felt like it was finally over it wasn't and that was like even more irritating the next one is Alex Hall and the podcast, okay? Alex Hall goes on a podcast and she says specifically that Kayla is crazy and she needs to get on some meds and she needs to go to the mental hospital and da da da. She says all these things on a public platform, on a podcast that gets published when the preview comes out and the name hasn't been dropped yet. She denies that it's Kayla and then it drops and everyone's like, you literally said Kayla. And she's like, oh, I didn't remember. This was irritating as hell. Oh my God, I have to shout out Allie. The whole time I'm watching this season, I'm like, why are you on this show, girl? Like, this is not your crowd. You are too sweet for this. And she just says her little like things in the middle, her little Southern like charm things. And I'm like, you just, you need to go. Like, this is not your scene. This is not your vibe. Go get out while you can. But I'm so proud of her because imagine being the new girl and imagine being the sweet little girl and standing up to Alex Hall. And she was like, you are a liar. She like called called her out. Anyways, I will give Alex the tiniest amount of credit, okay? This was the one apology we got in the whole show, the one, the whole season. And I do think deep down Alex Hall, deep, 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 deep down. I don't think she's a bad person, but I do. I don't think she's a bad person deep down, but on the surface, she is a bully. She's a bully, okay? She's a bully, period. When Allie was confronting her and she brings up what Allie said about Rose ages ago, that's manipulation at its finest, like at its finest to deflect. <gasps> so triggering, like so triggering for me to see this. Like, I don't know. I don't know how much of that apology I'll take because how do you not remember all these things you said about person? Like this one is number one. Oh, just the way Alex conducts herself in arguments like this and just the facial expressions and everything is... <laughs> irritating it is so irritating and triggering and everything okay the last one is the finale between sean and tyler as of this morning i think i saw an article saying they both have left the oc group or like the oppenheim group i think it's best for both of them honestly i think it's a shit show but the final conflict of the show okay is the argument at the derby before the derby right tyler gets a text message a very eerie text message from sean where he's like this isn't over and i'm gonna get you back or something like that which i get is very creepy especially if you haven't talked to someone after a long time if you look at it on the other side i can imagine sean being like i can't believe this guy is just like living his life like nothing's happened and he's hurt me so much and like you know imagine the headspace that sean was in and had to have been like mulling over so many things in his head to have sent that not that it's okay to send a creepy message like that to anyone but basically that scene is like the background and then they go to the derby sean decides to confront Tyler and have a conversation and he comes at it as like a come on like we used to have a friendship kind of situation This is where things kind of get a little murky. I feel like as an audience member you're kind of watching this and you're like I don't know what side to take for the first time because you're watching this and you're like, I take Sean's side. Tyler's insane, the way he's behaving and the way they keep bringing up, like just sell a listing, like Austin being like, just sell a listing. It's like, guys, get over it. Like come up with a better like argument. Like you're saying that's the only comeback you have against Sean after he's saying all these things about you. But then here's where things get really sus. The Austin drama comes up again about his wife and calling Sean over for dinner and the edibles get brought up again and 
Sean acts like he's never heard of that before. And it kind of cuts to the confessional where Kayla's like, he literally told me about the edibles and now he's acting like he doesn't know what people are talking about. And that's the moment even I was like, what if Sean's been lying this whole time? Like this was so confusing at that point, you really don't know. Like you don't like this side, but at the same time, you don't know how to trust this person. And like when they're talking about it at the end of the episode, when they're talking about it over like lunch or whatever, and they're like, every time Sean is like pulling up texts, he doesn't like let you take the phone and kind of scroll. And I think that's sus, like that's sus. If you're pulling up texts, have people be able to read the context around it because if there's no context, then it's really sus everything you're saying. So at that point, my head starts spinning and I'm like, ooh, like, I don't know if Sean really is the like guy he says he is and everything he's saying is honest. I'm gonna put this. I have the second spot left. I'm gonna put this at number two. Okay, let's reevaluate, guys. Kayla and Alex in the, at the top spot. I think that one's gonna stay. That one, like, actually watching it, I was like, that one kind of inspired this video for me. I was like, this is so triggering. Number two for Sean and Tyler. I think I agree with that one. Kayla and Gio being number three. And then Alex and Tyler. Yeah, I feel like the Austin and Sean drama was like reality TV perfection. So insane. And God, God knows what's true right in this situation but so insane and then the last one is back to the like initial conflict between tyler and sean where they talked about the dad and him not selling any listings anyways guys i think this is the final ranking what do we think an entertaining watch but for the mental health of the cast members jason and brett should put an end to this honestly like honestly let me know what you guys think if you have any thoughts on all of the conflicts and i will see you guys in the next one